Real railroad equipment is largely made of iron, so it rusts. Garden railroad equipment, however, is largely made of plastic. So how do we make plastic rust so it looks like real railroad equipment? On his channel, the RC sub guy uses this paint to rust some of his submarines. It contains iron particles in suspension. Once painted, the item is coated with activator, which rusts the iron that's in suspension. This paint has the consistency of paste and can obscure the fine details on your equipment. The RC sub guy adds an equal amount of vinegar to the paste to reduce the consistency to that of a wash. This not only helps the coverage, but the vinegar acts as the activator to rust the paint. However, if the solution is too thin, the iron will not stay in suspension and the solution will only leave black smudges on your part. So this paint only works best when you have a good coating, which is going to give you a heavy rust. I prepared this part by spraying it with Tester's Clear Flat, which helps the solution to wet out on the surface. If the surface is shiny, it might just beat up. This solution will accumulate in crevices and pockets where it will cause a deepening rust effect. However, this mimics the real world where rain accumulates in crevices and pockets, making those locations more rusty. Here it is after three hours of drying. The dark gray indicates that we did get a good amount of coverage and there's hints of brown indicating that the rust has started. Here is what it looks like after an overnight dry. This process results in different shades of color and texture in the patina, which are hard to duplicate if you just use rust colored paint. Unless of course you're a really good artist and you can blend all the various shades and textures. Somehow I missed some spots and I wanted to represent a piece of junkyard equipment that's been there for a long time. So I'm applying a second coat. The next morning, it really looks like rusty metal because the surface is rusty metal. If you handle the rusty part, sometimes the rust can rub off on your hands. I had two similar cow catchers, so I sprayed one with clear flat to seal and protect the rust. As I expected, it severely muted the color of the rust, but it still looks like old metal and fares reasonably well alongside actual rusty railroad hardware. However, I leave my parts uncoated because I prefer that appearance. While this process works well for heavy rusting, what about light surface rust found on older equipment, which is still in service? For that, I use a different method, which I'll discuss in my next video. In the meantime, check out the RC Subguys channel. He discusses many projects and techniques of interest to RC modelers. There is a link in the description below. Now, I need to go. I have a submarine to rust. If you found this video interesting, you can check out other Simple Garden Railroad DIY projects on this channel. Share it with a friend, give it a like, and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching.